here's a little tip on micro SD card selection for your DJI Phantom 3 Professional, more specifically, more so than the advanced. Uh, you want to use a card that's at least a class 10 or better, although you should keep in mind that not all class 10 cards are created equal because some class 10 cards will have a good read speed but they'll have a very poor write speed and write speed is very critical when it comes to writing very large files especially 4K files with the Phantom 3 Professional um, the Phantom 3 Advanced only goes up to 1080 so the super fast write speed is less critical unless you're doing the 60 frames per second writing but regardless of which one you choose you should probably spend a few extra dollars and get a good card so here is a Kingston card and this one's rated at 90 megabit read 45 megabit write speed of course uh, that write speed is important for being able to write a file really quickly on the card so I'd say you'd want to go with at least 40 or faster, probably maybe even as high as 60 if you want a really reliable card. Um, SanDisk Extreme is a good choice. This uh, Kingston is a good choice for 4K writes. Um, this 16 gigabyte card that the Phantom actually came with, my Phantom 3 Pro, uh, I ran it through Crystal Disk Mark for both of, the, both of these. It actually was a tiny bit faster than this Kingston card, so it's a bit faster than it, so I was pretty impressed with the quality of card they give you with the Phantom. But they have to though if, they want, if you want good 4K recording. Now another thing that's very important to know if you're going to be doing a long recording especially 4K which is a very large file in the default file system unless you're using a 64 gig capacity card um, the default filing system that they're going to format to within the DJI Pilot app is going to be FAT32. Uh, there's a major limitation in FAT32. For one thing, write speeds and read speeds are a little bit slower in FAT32. And FAT32 has a maximum file size of 4 gigabytes. What that means if you're doing a large 4K video, um, that's like going to end up being cut up into multiple 4 gigabyte segments, which you'll then have to video edit to combine into one. So if you want one large file rather than your file being segmented, you'll need to reformat these to XFAT file system, which is pretty much universally compatible with most devices. And that's the formatting system that would come with a 64 gig card. So first you'll want to, um, and so let me show you how to do that. And this is a micro SD card adapter. So that way I can put it in my normal size card reader in my computer. And here's my uh, card reader. And Now I see my 14 gig card. To, to, so first you'll want to see the copy of, over the folders that are on the card currently. You're going to have DCIM and this DCIM is a folder that contains your pictures and video. These are some videos I took with my Phantom 3 and miscellaneous these folders here. So I just drag and drop them to my desktop and then I'm going to copy them back to the card after I format it. To format it, you will right click on the drive, choose Format, and under Filing System, you're going to choose XFAT. Not NTFS, but XFAT. And then Quick Format Start. Close. Now it's a blank slate. Now I can just drag my files back. And 
that's it. So how simple is that? Or of course I could have deleted the video files in here or just made a blank folder, all DCIM, the other thing in there. But that's basically it. Now that it is in XFAT format, I don't have to worry about my files getting split up into multiple parts, multiple 4 gig parts, and it will further increase the performance of the SD card. So anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. I much appreciate you giving this video a like, sharing it, and subscribing if you want to see more from me. Thank you.